Both of these drones take fantastic photos, but it is actually really easy to make your photos look so much better with just a few small steps. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. Let's get into it. So I'm going to be showing you today how easy it is to actually make your photos look so much better. Now, especially for beginners, photo editing, manipulating your photo is really daunting and it's really easy to make your photos look terrible and it's better off just not touching them at all. But then it's also really hard learning about photo editing, how to edit your photos. So I'm going to look at this today on the aspect of a complete beginner and then show you what I used to use years ago and a program I'm still using now years later of how it is so easy with just a few tweaks of how you can actually enhance the photos you've taken on your drone. So the first things you need to do on your actual controller, you need to change a couple of settings. You've got the option either 12 megapixel or 48 megapixel. So 12 megapixel, this is what I'm going to be using majority of the time. It's going to actually snap photos a lot quicker. So there's not a lot of lag there in between photos. But if it's like a one shot, like this is a fantastic location, I've got all the composition well, I just want to take one photo, then I'll use the 48 megapixel photos on here. Now what's crucial is you actually select JPEG and RAW. So JPEG, this does all the camera photo editing for you. So you can just share this instantly, but you can't do a lot of tweaking or manipulation at all. The raw photos, these are going to capture a lot more data, which then enables you then to color grade them, color correct them and actually tweak them a lot more without ruining that photo. So what I've been using for years and what I highly recommend for beginners is a software called Luminar Neo. This is available on both Windows and Mac. And what's great about this is it gives you all of the different tools that you're going to need. There's lots of AI features built into this, but everything is done super easy. Majority of it is on sliders. So you don't have to go and learn about masking. Let's just show you now a couple of examples here, all taken either on the Mini 4 Pro or the DJI Air 3 and just show you what they look like straight out of camera, out of that drone and then what they look like afterwards with just a few simple tweaks. So first of all, let's load up this shot here. This is taken on the DJI Air 3 in a fantastic area. And all I'm going to do is I've actually got catalog presets or edit. So I'm going to click on edit first of all. Now you can see this is a really good shot, fantastic area, the mountains look really good but it just looks a little bit flat. It's not much contrast in there. And I'm going to show you now, literally just using two sliders, how if you're a complete beginner, how you can make this look so much better. So I'm going to click on here under tools. Now what I'm going to use is under the favorites tab is you've got enhanced AI. So what this does is this actually uses AI and it will detect different parts of this scene and it will actually enhance them and boost them using contrast clarity to make areas of this image which it thinks should stand out. So what I'm going to do is go to the Accent AI tool and I'm going to slide this up here and then you'll see automatically what this has done is from the mountains it's added a lot more contrast and detail. So if we just look now at the before and the after already that stands out a lot more. Now the sky looks pretty cool with the clouds and I can go also in the same menu here and click on sky enhancer and I can drag that up and you can see I'm now changing the color of that sky. Now the next one I'm going to go to is structure AI. So again using AI this will actually then add more levels of detail and clarity but only to the areas it thinks. So the sky doesn't need any structure adding to it. It's these mountains here. It needs a little bit more detail. It needs to pop. So I can go onto this slider again and I can just enhance this and move it up and you can see now the amount of detail it's given. Now if you go too much it's going to look too fake and it's going to destroy that photo but let's just say we just add round about 30% of that structure AI and then you see this boost here you can also boost that a little bit more. Now let's just look here so that's the before and that's the after and look how much better that is. So in this shot here I've actually used the DJI Mini 4 Pro with its vertical camera. I've just got it behind me and I've just used the self timer so it takes a timed photo every like five seconds but again it just looks a little bit flat there's nothing that's standing out about this so what can we do to enhance this? Well again what we're going to do is go to enhance AI this would be the most obvious one. All we need to do is increase that slider and if we just look at again at the before and the after, look how dramatic that looks in just that one slider. So you can see now that sky is popping more. The ground where I am, it's added a bit more of saturation. I stand out more. You've also got a relight section on here and this will automatically light up 
different parts of that photo. So you've got near, far, and you can also control the depth. So I'm at the near part of this photo. So if I just increase this slider here, then you can see it's adding a bit more exposure to where I am. So I stand out a little bit more. So the sky replacement, I wouldn't use it all the time, but it is fantastic. If you're taking this shot and that sky is really overcast day, the weather's not very good, especially in the UK, it's quite rare to get a really sunny day or dramatic clouds. So I could actually use the sky selection and select any of these three different sky replacements that it gives me. So I quite like the look of this one. It's like it's sunset and it's giving this like really dramatic look to it. So if we just look again at the before and the after. So you could, as a beginner, take this photo on your Mini 4 Pro you're going to move three or four sliders and that is now ready to share on Instagram without the need for any masking. Changing that sky on, for instance, like Photoshop, I would have to like manipulate or mask that whole sky and actually change different parts of it, find different uh, sky replacements from Google, drag them onto it. It takes so much longer. I'd have to actually mask me and change the exposure, enhance me. Well, this can just be all done with sliders. So as a beginner, this is fantastic. So this shot here, again, a nice shot, but it's not standing out as much as it could be. But this is going to be a little bit more advanced. And I'm going to show you some more of the tools that you've got. So all of your tools, you've got all of these on this right hand side. So you've got creative tools, you've got portrait tools, professional tools. You've got everything that you could possibly need and more. So I'm going to show you a lot of them on this photo here. So. What we can do for this actual car to stand out. So as we said before, we had structure AI. Now, rather than just moving this slider, which is going to enhance the structure of the whole photo, we can just select the vehicle. So if we click on masking, you've got here mask AI. That will then automatically detect that photo. And then you've got here human sky transport neutral ground man-made ground. So if I click on sky, and as you can see there, it detects that sky. So I want to actually click on transport. Now it's done a fairly good job at auto masking that car. So you can see it's not perfect. So what I can do is I can go to mask actions, click show, and then I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to erase some of its errors here. So I'm not going to do a fantastic job because this is like a quick example, but let's just say that for the time being. So under structure AI now, the masking, it's actually selecting just that car. So I can just enhance this slider and you can see now, if I move it up to say around about 60%, that car is standing out so much more just from moving that. And then I've got boost, which is also going to boost it a little bit more. And straight away, that is great. So if I wanted to, that could be enough but it's not. Now I want to actually change the look of this. Now a great thing about Luminar Neo is you can actually add LUTs. So LUTs are what I have for my drones for video, but you can use those LUTs on here for your photos. So for this, I want to actually have a bit of a different vibe, a bit of a retro vibe to this. So I'm click on custom look and I'm gonna go and select one of the mini four pro LUTs. Uh, I'm gonna use um, Iceman. And then I can actually go onto this amount here and I can actually increase or decrease the look of it, the strength of that. So I'm going to have it around about 80%. And you can see now then the colors here look a little bit different, aren't they? So it looks a bit more retro. So you've got some light teals and greens added into this. So by adding the lot and the structure there, that looks much better already. So what about this sky? So we can go under Enhance AI and we can click Sky Enhancer. I'm just going to increase that slider and that's going to make that sky a little bit more blue. And then everything else in this area here, I just want to tidy up a little bit. So what's great about this, if we go back to catalog and then if we click on here called Gen Erase, this is the new like AI erase feature and it works really well. You've got here a rubbish bin and some tires and a bin here. So I don't want any of them in that shot. So I can just actually select each one of these. I'll do a really fast job. You literally just like draw paint onto it and there's a big bin here as well. And I'm just gonna highlight that. And then all I need to do is click erase and that will then take care of all of them and get rid of them. 
So if we just look here now, this shows you the before and after, so you can get a better idea. So that's a before, and that's our final edit. So the car stands out a lot more. We've taken care of some of those distractions that have been, and also you've got more of a retro, a different look to it using these looks. And if you took a shot at night, let's say here, taking on the Mini 4 Pro, so a good shot, but we can make it look a little bit better really easy. So I'm gonna click on edits, and then you've got a Magic Light AI. So what Magic Light does is you actually detect this photo and any lights in the scene, it will en enhance just those lights. So if we actually zoom in here, you can see all of these street lights here and it's highlighted them. Each one of them has got a little box. So if we actually increase the intensity, you can see what you can do to these lights. So it will give a different look to your photo, make these lights stand out. So I'll just have them quite subtle like that. And if we zoom back out, that just makes those lights pop than they did before. So that's the before, that's the after. So it's like a subtle enhancement using this. And then I'll go back to Enhance AI. This is probably my favorite slider. They make it so easy to use. I'm gonna just increase this to say around about 40%, that just enhances everything, makes everything pop. And it gives it this like HDR look automatically. Everything stands out, that is fantastic. So that's ready to share straight away. Again, I can have a share it like this, or I can go to Crop AI, and I can have it perfectly centered so that road's in the center, click enter. And again, a couple of sliders, and that is a fantastic shot taken on the DJI Mini 4 Pro, it is remarkable. So don't just take the photo and be like, right, yeah, I'm happy with that. Just two sliders and it can look like that. We can also add artificial elements really easily as well. So you can see here a really overcast day with really cool fog coming in. But say I want to add a bit more, what we can do is we can go under here under atmosphere and you've got the selections here of fog, layered fog, mist or haze. So we can select any of these and then we can add them to this photo. So we select haze here and increase this amount. This is gonna add some haze to that photo. We go to fog, we can add even more. So that's just making this look like a really cool shot. Now again, I want that car to stand out. So I'm gonna to go to enhance AI. I'm gonna click on masking and click mask AI. The AI software is gonna do its best to try and detect this car. So I can click on transport and it does a fairly good job. And if it's not done a fantastic job actually selecting the car or you or whatever you're happy with, you can just go and manipulate that yourself just so it's where you want it to be. So that's now selecting the car and me. So I can now go to here and I can actually increase that. And it's just making that car stand out a little bit more like a subtle amount. You don't want to overdo it because that's just far too bright, but that looks a bit better there. And then we're going to go under Structure AI again. And then for this, I'm just gonna show you how you can paint yourself without masking. So I'm gonna click on Brush, and I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller, and then just highlight this area here. Go back to Adjustments, and then just increase that, and just make the car stand out a little bit more here. So the before photo looked decent, but just again, by adding some Structure, Enhance AI, some fake fog, that photo looks even better. Now, because this was a 48 megapixel photo, I can crop in without losing detail because 48 megapixel is gonna capture a lot more data. So if I want that car to stand out even more, I could crop in. So let's just have the car centered again using these grid lines. I still want this fog and atmosphere, but I don't need all the road. So I'm gonna use that and that looks a lot better. And that is a fantastic shot. Now, if I wanted to, again, under crop AI, I could change that up and have that for Instagram vertically. So again, let's look at the before. So a good shot, but it just looks a bit, a bit boring, a bit meh. You want things to stand out. You want a bit of artificial fog. You can easily do it with all of these sliders. So this shot here will be a good example of using this sky replacement. So a good shot of the Hollywood sign, but the sky looks boring, doesn't it? So if we click on here, sky selection. We can select any of these skies again. Let's just go for, let's see what this one looks like. Yep, this looks pretty cool. So more of a dramatic sky. You've got some fake helicopter in the background. That looks a lot better. And then once we've done that, we can click on landscape and you've got different options here. So you've got one called golden hour. So if we increase that, that's going to increase the saturation coming automatically from the sun. So the more we do it, the more it's gonna overdo it here. That just will be a subtle amount. So really fast and easily. That's the before and that's the after. You completely change the look of that Hollywood shot just from two sliders. 
But for majority of beginners starting, using a program like this, you can actually get used to all of these different features. But just to really quickly edit your photos, you're gonna use two sliders the most. And that's going to be the Enhance AI. So just by changing the accent on here will automatically make that photo pop and look so much better. And then using Structure AI as well, it's gonna add contrast and clarity. And you can do this pretty much on any photo and it's gonna make it look a lot better. And this shot here, for example, so you could again go to Enhance AI, you could just increase that slider up what we can do now is we can look at the structure AI. So I want a bit more contrast and clarity to that shot. So I'm just gonna increase that there. So that looks better already. But then we're gonna to go to mood. I'm going to add a lot. So for this, I'll use Vegas. So we've used three different sliders in what, 30 seconds. And that looks tons better already. And we could leave it as that. We could share it like that. And then if I wanted to, I could go to sky AI and I could replace that sky with something different. That sky looks all right. I could use that, I could use this one. I could use different sky replacements. But for this, I'm not gonna use any sky replacement, but you see the sun here to the top left. What we can do is you can go under the creative section here and you've got sun rays. So we could click on place sun center. And now you've got this little dot on the screen. So you could place that dot in the top left hand corner where the sun would be. And then you can see where it says amount. I can now basically add artificial sun rays to this photo to give it a, just something extra for it to stand out. So I can basically change the, what them sun rays look like. So I could add just a subtle amount there. So again, really fast and easily in what a minute, two minutes, your photos looked like a good photo, good composition to looking a lot better. And then that car there, if I want to get rid of it, rather than having to go and actually select that and go and change different things, I can just click on erase, highlight it, click erase, and in a second, that's gone. Go up here, go to Crop AI, share it like that, or click on this button, get it composed well with that road in the center, click on Auto Crop, and that's ready to share. So if you're a beginner, don't let photo editing, photo manipulation, Put you off and using this software for portraits is even better so you've got loads of different options here for skin smoothing you change eye colors all baked into this it is so easy to use if you want to go and check this program out i highly recommend it i'm going to link it at the top of the description there's also a discount code on the screen now so you can get some extra money of this i hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it we'll be doing a follow-up video on this showing you some advanced techniques but for beginners this is perfect so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. It really does help out. Subscribe if you're new around here. I've got loads of videos coming really soon you don't want to miss out on. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.